Let's talk JLR. I like JLR for the most part. I like the fact that he's boots on the ground. Love that about him. I do think sometimes he invades people's privacies way too much. Um, with this whole Howard Bloom, Steve Gonzalez, I'm going to put Brad Norton like. I don't know how she feels. I don't know why, what her end game is in her name being mixed up in all of this. And for good reason, whether or not she denies it or what, I, I don't know. Um, like you lost my trust a long time ago. So I'm not really going to approach you and ask you, you know, because I already know the answer and I know you're just going to lie. <laughs> so, um, but JLR, okay. Um, I guess people have been coming to him giving Sydney's name and whatnot. Um, and I don't know if he's acting like he doesn't know her. Maybe he doesn't know her per se, but she's in the little circle with Steve, Remember one live she said that um, Steve had given the Linda Lane footage to her, JLR, Rory, and Verita Sassi. All four of those people supposedly have it um, from what she said. So since she said that, and then since whenever I saw a picture of JLR and Steve, um, I thought, well... I knew at that point that JLR must be working for him. Not only that, JLR's profile on YouTube shows Gonzo Journalist. Gonzo is Steve's Facebook name. It's Gonzo Gonzalez. If you look on Facebook, you'll see that that's his Facebook name. Ow. Um, so I think, I'm not sure, but I think Gonzo Journalist means that he's working for Steve right in my opinion that's what it looks like when you put Gonzo with journalists I did look up Gonzo meaning on on Google just for fun and it gave me a definition of um, this I'll put it here I'm not sure if that's what he's pertaining to but to me just <laughs> there's no such thing as a coincidence so to me, the Gonzo just means that he's working for Steve. Um, whether he knows Brat is involved in all of this with Steve as well, or was, because allegedly he blocked her after the whole Linda Lane footage and she leaked it on live and whatever. I guess he blocked her then. But um, this is not far-fetched. This is absolutely something that is quite obvious. And I don't know. I do believe that these texts that were sent to Steve from Brad about her going to Idaho with Howard Bloom, all of that. Um, I don't know. Uh, they must be real. Um, because I know she empathized with... Like she mentioned uh, to me how she was like drawn to Kaylee the most um you know so she said that in the text and I remember she had told me that too when we were friends um I don't know I really don't know I really wish I really wish this never would have happened like I said in my previous video basically to her you know, I really wish none of, like, I don't know what the end game is for, for her. I don't know what she wanted. I know that whenever her and I were talking, all right, we met in April. So basically she had nobody on her following list. So I, um, I took her under my wing, I guess, basically in a little way, in a small way, um, and then she tried to overpower that wing. So she went on her own and I went on my own. And I stayed by myself. So anyways, in April we met, right? She had nobody following her. Um, and so I started tagging her and stuff. I started like, you know, 
go follow Brad Norton, get her to a thousand. She got to a thousand, she started creating, and she's she went she blew up. She's at twenty eight thousand now. Twenty six twenty six thousand. So she blew up and people know her as Brad Norton and <clears throat> whatever. Um then she wanted to go live so bad, right? So um and she got to her thousand um, and she got to go live and now she's been like, whenever we were talking, she was like, always like, Oh my God, I need to talk to Kim. I need to talk to Kim because her and Kim have the same views. Well, she follows what Kim said a lot. Um, I don't know, but she was really, really like big into like trying to solve it now, you know, and I respect that. Um, however, we got to go about it the right way. I kind of fell under influence from her a little bit. Um, I, uh, I started believing some theories that she put out, but then whenever it got too much, I, I, I I said enough was enough, like, you know, and not just that, the whole crystal thing. That was what, that was the final straw for me I probably would have kept being her friend with her theories because I mean we are allowed to have a difference of opinion Um, and we always did she always felt Brian was innocent I always felt like Brian was guilty ish like you know I'm still on the fence like to this day but she's dead set that he's innocent Um, so that's why she's been putting other people under the bus up until recently like anyways she had told me a long time ago that um the reason why we weren't talking as much because she was a little distance at the end in june when she told me uh, that she was working for an author she's under his payroll she didn't mention who um although i knew who (laughs) um and so you know and she's like i'm I'm like hardcore sleuthing right now. Um, I'm working with this author for their book, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, I know it's not Ruben Appleman for, I, well, Idaho slept. So who else could it be? Um, anyways, uh, I just don't understand the whole end game. I'm not coming in here with hate or anything you know, I'm like over that. Whenever I apologize to Brad for all those videos I was putting out on her, like all these like like bashing her and screenshots and shit. Like I apologize to her for that and I meant it. Um, I don't want to do that to anybody. That's not what my page is about. But I will calmly talk like this about what I think is going on. Um... I don't think I'm wrong. I really don't. Um, Based on the fact that I knew her before anybody else, really. Uh, Cindy knew her, but they were just commenting back and forth, you know? I don't know if they were actually talking like how her and I used to talk. But but they still talk, um, which is great. Um, But I don't know. Um... I don't know. I would love to know the end game, but again, like, I don't talk to you like that now. So I'm not going to approach you and say, Hey, so what's going on and be fake. No, I'm not going to be fake. I can't be fake. I, we're not friends. Uh, we might be friends here. Like we follow each other, but we don't, we don't talk on Instagram. Like last time I talked to you was just like briefly to ask you if that was dot. That was it. Hadn't talked to you since June before that. Anyways, um, I don't know. I hope, I don't know. I don't know if you wanted to be infamous or what, because your name is, it's not good in the true crime community. A lot of people are starting to see you for what you're trying to do, which I don't know what you're trying to do. Um, I wish I knew. But anyways, only you know.